just outside of Pune. In early 80s, I came this way and I heard about these Karla caves, which are carved into the mountain. And I was on my motorcycle, I came along and went up the mountain to Karla caves. It's a, a, a masterpiece of uh, sculpture and engineering. But the most wonderful thing that impressed me was there were many uh, statues of Buddha, unfinished, because this used to be part of the sadhana that a monk who is good at sculpting gets engaged in making the image of a Buddha. And when he is near completion, everything is done, just the nose is a lump of rock yet to be completed. At that time, if the master who guides him, the mentor who guides him, finds that the monk is overly attached to what he is creating, he will ask him to stop. Everything is done, but the nose is just a lump of rock, but he leaves it right there. He doesn't have... he's not going to fight with the mentor and say, No, I'm going to complete my statue, this is my statue, <laughs> and put his name there and then take a selfie with it. These are not the times when they said stop, he just stopped. So, this was an extreme step in dispassion, what you're involved in creating, what matters a lot to you, what you put your life into, when you're asked to stop, you just stop. In this, there is liberation. In this, there is transformation. So, the Buddhist traditions used methods like this. You will see classic examples of that in Karla Caves. It's uh, I would say, anybody who passes this way, today, at that time this was a mountain roadway, today it is a a very busy expressway. I don't think anybody is going to stop and go up to Karla Caves, but I would say anybody who passes this way, at least one visit to Karla is a must.